Hey, what's up, YouTube? Real quickly, I just want to answer this question. Were the Black Panther Party socialists? Was it a socialist organization? And the short answer is no. Not exactly. <laughs> now, I know that's a little tricky. So let me uh, elaborate on that. Um, although the Black Panthers had... Uh, real uh socialist ideals it was not per se socialist the black panthers practice uh what is called intercommunalism which is a uh, you know together this aspect like community commune now although that is sometimes seem to be synonymous with socialism um apparently is not um, see, one thing Huey Newton understood is that socialism, like all the other isms, capitalism in particular, can be used against you. Um, and hence, we got welfare and uh, a lot of other things we see now that uh, perhaps I'll make another video about. So, he uh, adopted something basically called, uh, which is known as dialectical materialism, which is... Uh, in other words, means adopt to nothing because it's an ever-flowing thing. So basically, you got to be adjust, adjustability. You know, I mean, being able to adapt, adaptability uh, regarding politics, uh, way of life, etc. So basically, the Black Panther Party, in a nutshell, was a uh, you know believe in dialectical materialism, so to speak. Uh, you know, we didn't uh, grab stone to um, anything, although a lot of the uh, beginning stages we understood to, uh, to combat the issue of capitalism, you know, like the Monopoly board, we understood that together we can achieve more. And so this is why they uh, spearheaded and founded a lot of breakfast programs and just programs all across the board. Um, they understood that, uh, that the collectivism or whatnot. But to answer the question, no, there was not a socialist organization. Again, for the most part, it was dialectical materialism. And also, and there's arguments about, um, you know, the party. Because, again, like I said, the party, uh, a lot of the, uh, how should I say, the components to the party and ideology was socialistic in perspective, you know, because again, we understood that food, clothing, shelter, medical, things like that, people shouldn't have to pay for, you know. So through those principles, um, like I said, they came with a intercommunalism um, tactic per se, as far as to combat uh, you know, the evils of capitalism, because again, all isms can be used against you. And also, uh, you know, here we again understood, you know, as far as capitalism, because this is not even capitalism, what we got right now. It's not a democracy. This is kind of like a corporate monopoly. But, you know, I won't talk much about that on this vid. But, you know, and so you may hear certain speeches. And again, let me go back. Because uh, Cointel Pro was in full effect, so um, the party was actually infiltrated by a lot of socialism. And this is tricky because, again, the Panthers are not anti-socialist, you know. We just adopted intercommunalism, you know, and dialectical materialism, meaning that, you know, like I said, it's an ongoing thing, you know you know, dealing with, uh, you know, fighting for freedom or whatnot. But, you know, I, like I said, y'all just want to quickly um, answer that question. And like I said, so you may hear certain speeches by certain members that reference uh, the word socialism or whatnot because, um, like you say, or like you see, it's all power to the people. All right, YouTube, hit the like, subscribe. Or, you know, matter of fact, more importantly, tell me what you think about that. And if you disagree, um, we can definitely get into some dialogue. Again, I'm just coming off the brain. But to answer that question is uh, no. 
you know all right peace